There's a contagion in the real estate industry right now, and I'll show you how to survive. There's a contagion in the real estate industry right now. There's agents that are spending an enormous amount of time, energy, and money producing content that doesn't show them in the best light. They're looking for likes from other agents. They're looking for a social media famous personality instead of shooting to educate. And what I wanna share here is that you've gotta realize people will Google you. GTS, well in this case it's GTA, Google that agent. And if you're not ready to be searched and to understand how consumers are going to be looking you up and the light you're gonna be viewed in, you're making a big mistake. Constantly we see agents making funny, over the top videos that have nothing to do with real estate. And I'm not saying don't be entertaining. What I'm saying is when you shoot to educate, instead of looking to convert right from the social media post and you're putting value out there that's gonna help somebody, and it can be funny, it can be entertaining, there's a lot of ways to deliver it, there has to be an educational message and an intention with the consumer in order to make this work. So what I put together were three ways you can avoid this contagion and stop spending your time on producing content that's not gonna help you win new business because you know how you make money in real estate? Selling houses. So number one, is your content's gotta bring value. It's gotta bring value and speak to consumers in a way they can understand. Ditch the real estate lingo. Talk about things in a way that the average buyer or the average seller who may not have gotten into a real estate transaction in over a decade is gonna be able to understand and use that information to help them make well-informed business decisions because that is our job as guides in the marketplace to help consumers make well-informed business decisions. That has to do with data, that has to do with facts, and it has to do with things that they can apply to their day to day. And then when you get that content, just don't post it on social. Email it out, send it out to your database, send one-to-one -one emails, share it with people, use it in DMs, take those videos or those posts or pieces of content and use them to communicate with consumers. A great method here is after you talk to somebody and maybe you get the objection of, the market's gonna crash or prices are coming down and you've done something around that, you send them that video. You follow up with that because most agents don't follow up enough in the first place. So take your content, shoot to educate, and make sure there's a message that people can understand and use it everywhere, not just on a social media post. What I want everyone to understand is that it's our job to market to consumers, not expecting them to come find us. And when you take that as an obligation, as a responsibility, and that one-to-one -one conversation, that's gonna go a long way. Number two, keep using the stuff you're sending in actual conversations. Picking up the phone, text message exchange, whatever it is, these things work. And what we've had tremendous success with, where multiple people on our team have done it, is sending out the updated mortgage rates to people that are in the market looking to make a move anytime there's some significant movement there. That can get people to get excited about the home search process again. It can get sellers to understand there might be an affordability opportunity for them to sell their home for more. The point is, most agents, they expect the consumers to know about this stuff. And guess what? Maybe you got 5% of people that are in a real estate decision-making phase. And even when they are, we had the latest rate drop. We reached out to our clients. We sent a video. We made calls. We sent text messages. All the outreach you're supposed to do. And that's number two. It's about outreach. What we found was people actively looking for homes didn't even know that rates came down. Mind blowing, I know. All the more reason to take the content you use and to have actual conversations with people. So shoot to educate with your content, number one. Use it in your marketing, use it in one-to-one -one conversations. And number two, actually have conversations with people about it. Just don't send it to them, send it to them and then follow up with a phone call and let them hear the sound of your voice on the phone. This stuff works. And number three, when they give you objections and they give you concerns, like I'm worried the market's gonna crash or rates are too high, make sure you address it head on. Answer the question. They may not like the answer you have and you may not have an answer that's gonna get them into action. When you don't address their concern, you're showing you don't care about the consumer and instead what you're doing is telling them, all I care about is a sale. There's too much lazy follow-up that goes on in this business and empathy, focusing on motivation and addressing these objections with 
educational content is going to go a long way. I've got a bonus here for you. When there's someone that you don't speak to, send them the email, send them the video anyway. There's so much lazy follow-up that goes on where it's, I'm checking in to see if you wanna buy a property right now. That check-in stuff doesn't work. You know what you're checking in on? Trying to find your next commission check. Instead of delivering value, putting out that information because you may not get that person on the phone. You may not get them to respond to you right away. They may be busy, people have lives. When you follow up with value-based content and use it in those places, you're gonna win. And that's how you avoid the contagion. We're not here to be video influencers. We're here to guide people through one of life's most stressful transactions.